Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you a beautiful cake with chocolate spheres and just how to texturize your cake onto your buttercream. So if you guys wanna see how I made this, we'll keep on watching.
So this cake was a six inch cake and I did like my normal. I did my buttercream. The client wanted like a neutral color. So I did like a, it's almost like an olive color and the color is by Wilton. So what I did is that I stacked it together using my buttercream recipe. By the way, it's linked in my description box down below. And then I did my crumb coat, pop it in the freezer for about five minutes, just so that it um, hardens a little bit. And then I can go ahead and do my second coat of buttercream. And that was basically it for the cake itself. Then what I did is that I used a little bit of edible metallic paint and I just splashed it to the cake so that it gives it more texture. And I finished the look with um, edible metallic pearls from Sweet Apolita, only the best. For the chocolate spheres, what I did is that I use these little molds. I love, love, love these molds. They come in different sizes. They're so easy to use. I just fill up the little whatever size that I'm using, the little cavities with chocolate or candy melt, and then just fill it up on the inside. You don't want to fill out the whole entire crease. You just want to fill up a little bit, and then you pop it in the freezer or the fridge so that the chocolate or the candy melt um hardens and then you can go ahead and do a second coat i always do a second coat because a lot of times we think it's fine and then we can unmold and then the edges were too thin so then you could it breaks so i always do two coats of uh, chocolate or candy melt just to be on the safe side and then what i do i do i take a frying pan and i just heat it up a little bit and then I take my two spheres, the same size, obviously, and then stick them together. And that's basically it for the chocolate. You can also fill them up with whatever you want on the inside. You can use any filling that you want. Or if you're doing like a kid's cake, you can also, um, if you're using like the, the, the big, 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 big one, you can use like little chocolates on the inside or little sprinkles, like the, you know, it's endless. Um, so that's for that. So once you have your spheres, you can go ahead and then just stick it to your cake. I used buttercream to just place them on my cake, but you can also use candy melts also or chocolate so that it sets. And um, that is it. Finish the look with cute little flowers and ta-da, you got your beautiful cake. Sometimes less is more you know what I mean? So in this case, this was the case. Less was more. So it's just, it turned out so beautiful. I like the outcome of it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.